Hey, what up, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. I've got an interview that I did with Justin Turner coming up from spring training. We're going to talk some DH, some third base. But first, for all latest Dodgers news and rumors all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. Really appreciate it. And as always, I'm with your takes down below in the comments section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. How do you think the Dodgers should utilize the DH spot this season? Here, and who do you think should be playing the most third base other than Justin Turner this season? And finally, predict how many home runs JT will hit this season. Let me know down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So it hurts me to say this, but this could be Justin Turner's final year with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Yes, JT is entering the final year of that two-year, $34 million contract he signed last offseason. He does have a $16 million club option. He does have some escalators where if he finishes in the top of the MVP voting, that number could go higher. And yes, there's a chance the Dodgers could pick that up, but there's no guarantees. And last season, Justin Turner, he got off to a great start. You saw the power surge early on this season. He tied a career high with 27 home runs. And if you look at how he ranked among all big league third basements last year, those 27 bombs, that was ninth. 87 RBIs, that was good for eighth. A 127 WRC plus, that was good for fourth. So he was 27% better than the average big leaguer at the plate last season. And a 4F4, that was good for seventh. If you look at the rankings heading into this season, they have Justin Turner on MLB.com in the top 10. So look, he's still, even at age 37, getting it done at the hot corner at the plate. And really the big takeaway last year was he tied a career high with 151 games played. He led the Dodgers with 612 plate appearances. And prior to that, he was averaging 128 games per 162. So you saw the increase in games played last season, but also he did not perform as well as we're used to in the postseason. So if you look at Justin Turner, he leads the the Dodgers in almost every single postseason offensive category. He did tie Corey Seager for the franchise lead in home runs with 13 with his bomb in the wild card game. But as a whole, he ended up slashing 118, 211, 206 in the postseason. Goes four for 34. No extra base hits after that wild card home run. And then he goes down with that hamstring injury. So he did run out of gas late. And in his defense, he just was not looking right at the plate in the postseason. And didn't look close to 100%. And you got to give him credit. At that age, he did everything he possibly could to keep his body right for the stretch run. But he just kind of gave out on him at the end. But in the 2022 season, you're going to have the universal DH. The designated hitter has made its way to the National League like we saw in 2020. And JT is a player that's going to benefit from that. Now, he's not going to be the primary DH. He's not going to be DHing every single day like a Nelson Cruz. But he is going to give him an opportunity to get off his feet because look the bottom line is he can still get it done at the hot corner defensively yes he has lost his step and yes his overall defensive metrics they have dipped throughout the years and you're seeing him decline when it comes to range last season he's in the 41st percentile in outs above average but he could still play the hot corner but it is a physically demanding position it definitely is physically taxing on the legs so having him play dh at times is definitely going to help preserve him and keep him fresh for the postseason run. So yes, while we will see JT at the DH spot throughout this season, I think there's a big misconception out there that they're just going to give him a lion's share of those reps just because of his age and just because of his injury history. Because the Dodgers, they realize that the value of the DH is rotating guys in and out of there. You're going to see Justin Turner. You're going to see Max Muncy. You're going to see Will Smith when he's not catching and they can keep him fresh and still keep his bat in that Dodgers lineup. You'll see Gavin Lux. Maybe you'll see Mookie Betts. I mean, there's tons of guys in this lineup that can benefit from being the Dodgers DH. And yes, it's going to benefit Justin Turner because he is one of the elder statesmen on this team. But they're going to mix it up with that position just like we saw in 2020. And when it comes to third base, when JT isn't manning the hot corner, you're going to see 
see Edwin Rios, who's looked really good this spring. Look, remember, Edwin Rios was the third baseman on the field when the Dodgers won the 2020 World Series. You're also going to see Max Muncy, who he was set to slide over to second base after the Dodgers signed Freddie Freeman. But hey, let's not forget, he can also play third base. So in addition to adding one of the truly elite hitters in the game in Freddie Freeman, the Dodgers also bolstered their infield depth because with Freddie Freeman at first, you have Max Muncy that can play second, that can play third, and then you're also going to have Hanser Alberto, the utility man they signed this offseason. You're going to see Chris Taylor, the super utility man, get some reps at third base. Let's not forget Gavin Lux. He played some hot corner last season. How about Jake Lamb, who is sent down to the minors, but he'll get his opportunity at some point this season. So the Dodgers do have that infield depth. They have the positional versatility for guys that can get it done when JT is playing the DH role or if he's injured. So I like the depth that the Dodgers have at third base this season. They have guys that can get it done at the hot corner and they don't have to rely solely upon Justin Turner. And then, like I said, they can also get him off his feet and keep him fresh for the postseason. But last week, I caught up with JT at Dodgers spring training and we touched on a bunch of different topics from the Dodgers DH to how much the Dodgers clubhouse has changed throughout the years to the Dodgers blue spring training uniform. Should they wear it in the regular season as walk-up song for next season? But let's dive into this interview with Justin Turner. I right, said, so Justin Turner, you're the longest tenured Dodgers position player. What's it been like to see this clubhouse change so much through the years? Uh, yeah, pretty wild. I was actually just talking about it earlier today when I was the guy walking in and looking around and, you know, seeing Adrian Gonzalez, Henry, the, Hanley Ramirez, Matt Camp, Andre Ethier, Clayton Kershaw, you know, Brian Wilson, uh, Kenley Jansen, um, you know, just Carl Crawford, just superstar after superstar yeah, yeah. Uh, in this room. And, uh, you know, now, nine years later, um, I feel like young guys coming in here probably have similar feelings, you know, walking around. You see Kershaw, you see David Price, you see Bueller, uh, you got Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Cody Bellinger, uh, Trey Turner. So, uh, honestly, like... <laughs> I don't think much has changed. The names have changed, but I feel like the uh, the, the caliber of players is is, is held. Well, how's like the vibe been kind of different these days versus when you first were uh, coming up? Yeah, not too different. I think uh, if you were in this room nine years ago, it'd probably look a lot similar to how it is right now. The ping pong table over there, uh, table on this side, TV's hanging up. So uh, not a lot has changed. Uh, just diff different names and. Um, you know, just everyone understands what they need to do on a on a personal level to get ready for, for the season. How you feeling this spring? I mean, last spring you gave a lot of credit to the whole 30 diet for keeping you healthy. Did you do anything different this off season to kind of get ready for the season? I actually just finished my whole 30. Uh, yesterday was my first day off of it, so I did the same. Uh, coming in feeling great again. I uh, feel like I'm in in great shape and. Uh, looking forward to another great year. And I was going to a lot of people talk about you're going to have the DH the National League and that you're going to get a lion's share of those reps at the DH spots, kind of keep you healthy, ready to go for the postseason. How much do you anticipate being the DH this year? Uh, I, I don't know how it's going to shake out. Like I said, I my goal was to come in here in as best shape as possible and put myself in a position to be available to play every single day, uh, no matter where Dave wants to pencil me in the lineup. So last year you talked about the Dodgers blue alternate uniform and how maybe you want to see them use that in the regular season. Have you talked to anyone? Is there any movement on that? Do you think it'll ever happen? I know they're fresh. I know they're super clean. Do you think they'll ever do it? Well, we got it. We got the all blue uniform. Yeah, the not Dodgers, not, right? not yeah. quite the way yeah. we were hoping to get it, but... Yeah. Uh, we got the all blue uniform and, um, you know, I don't know. I like the top. I, I'm not in love with the pants, but uh, it's it's what we're doing. And I guess, I guess we're doing it again this year for City Connect. So uh, you'll see those out there again. Last year, of course, you famously had a video go viral about you announcing you're coming back with the turn down for what? You put the luggage in the in the trunk. What you got in store this year for your walk-up song? You want the same one? You going to switch it up? You get ready to tell us or what is it going to be? Usually, you know, I, I use the ride home from Arizona to yeah. L.A. to uh, to decide what that's going to be. So I haven't picked it yet. We'll, we'll see what happens. I do have a tendency of going back and just using some of the old school ones, some of the fan favorites. So if I can't find anything, uh, it might be something you've already heard before. All right, we're excited. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for the time, and best of luck this season, JT. Thank you.
man, hearing JT run off all those names at the beginning, that really gave me the feel. Some good times. Miss those Dodger teams. But let me know down below in the comment section, how do you think the Dodgers should utilize the DH spot in 2022? How should they utilize third base? And how many home runs do you think JT will hit this season? Let me know down below. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Dodgers news and rumors all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. really helps out the channel. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.